What's up everybody? My name is Delara and welcome to D-Time. Today we are going to talk about the structure of the genre and how to tune it. If you want to learn all about the structure of the genre, you can pause the video and look at the picture in the description. I will tell you about the uh, parts of the genre which we will often talk about. So, click on the pause button. There are three main parts of the dombra. It's the headstock, the neck and the body. The tuning pegs with the strings uh, coiled around them are at the headstock. Uh, these are strings. Uh, actually, uh, there are three stringed and four stringed dombras, but we are going to study playing uh, the street string domra. On the neck, you can see the frets. The frets is the distance between two nearest metal nuts. The counting starts from left to right. So, in uh, accordance uh, with uh, it, you can see the first fret. The second fret, the third fret, fourth, fifth, uh, and so on. The body of the drummer consists of deck and back. Above the deck, you can see the speak guard, which uh, protects uh, the drummer from sketches. Also, there are some buttons for the fittings of the strings, the sound hole where the sound goes out, and the Bridge. The domra needs to be tuned constantly. As time goes by, the new strings stretched through and uh, tuning became a law. Many different factors influence on the tuning, uh, such as temperature, moisture, uh, wear and uh, tear. So, how to tune the domra? There are two variants. The first. In the beginning, the domra is tuned from the second string exactly from the note A. We should press the note A on the tuning fork. And the sound of the second string must be equal uh, as the sound out the um, tuning fork. Uh, the frequency of the note A is uh, 440 Gz. The next step is to tune first and third strings. The first one must uh, sound like the second on the fifth fret. One, two, three, four, five. The third string in the fifth fret must sound in unison with the open second string. One, two, three, four, five. The second way of tuning the domra is to buy a tuner or download it uh, on your gadget. But this way is not so accurate uh, as the previous way we saw. Every tuner has the needle which point at the sounding knot. You should know the drop of the domra in order to tune it. The drop is from the first to the third string. D This 
letters we need to see on the tuner. If you see the red sign on the tuner, it means that uh, the string's tuning is uh, lower or upper. So if the needle's on the left side, you should stretch the string. On the contrary, you should loosen the tension of the string. If you see the green sign, everything ok. The domra keeps in the case in the one place, but it prohibited uh, to keep it near the heating. Keeping in the dry uh, to dry or moisting location and the sharp change of temperature can destroy your musical instrument. Thanks for watching and I hope it helped and I also hope to see you in some other lessons here real soon. So see you later. Bye.